Moser still one behind Avery Jenkins. And we're on 15, a par 4, 611 feet. It's a little bit of a dog leg left, but it's a long, long way. you got a couple of hills in there. You might see a few rollers on this hole if they can get them to go. Now, you may think 611 feet to the person listening to this and watching this at home, but that's actually a reachable distance for some of these guys. So they're really looking forward to letting it fly here. And again, a very narrow opening to go through. Got to watch the trees all down the left-hand side. Now the trick here for Avery is that he had that rough putt on last hole. He needs to be able to just forget about that and move on and don't bring that with him because you need to treat each hole. Pretty like it's a decent shot, shot despite hitting that tree. I thought it still worked out pretty good. Turned him right through that hole. Let's see how Moser does with those arms. You know he's actually going to use his legs on this throw. So catch like the edge and there's a roller for you. And it turns it straight through the hole. That's one way to avoid trees. Just keep it on the ground. And see what Felberg's going to do. He's, we've seen people try and air it out. We saw the roller. He's going to try and get big air. Oh, it doesn't look like it turned as much as he was hoping it would. Jay Redding makes his shot. He gets a nice decent shot. I thought that shot. was pretty perfect. Ball's just shy of that hole, so he can get right through it. Here's Avery with a decent-sized tree right in his way. See if he can get around it. And he does with ease. And puts himself in a nice position. Just left of the basket there. With that basket a little high for you, so if you miss it, you're running an even bigger putt. You gonna throw a flick or a roller? Hard to tell this way. He really loves that roller. Well, look, and, and for good reason. He's got complete control of that thing as it rolls pretty close up near the basket. What a great shot. Oh, that's a nice shot by Jay. Oh, that just missed that tree, and that's gonna, that's gonna fall close. Looks like he's about pin high there. Kyle might also be throwing a roller the way he's holding that. Nope. A just long misses the putt. Putt for Crabtree. Moser really like to make this, this shot here for birdie. And he does. He does. Big shot. That puts the pressure on Avery. See if he can keep that stroke he's got on Mike. This is also Felberg's birdie chance here. Much needed. There he goes. Who needs chains, Todd? <laughs> well, when you got it, sometimes you got it. And here's Avery with this. Really high pressure putt. He needs this to maintain the lead or he will be in a tie with Moser if he misses. Not a place you want to be. And he sinks it with ease. He doesn't guys, seem to be bothered by that at all. These guys have just ice cold vein, blood in their veins. They're, they're good under pressure. And Kyle with a nice easy up. Okay, Avery Jenkins still in the lead. One stroke on Mike Moser. Kyle Crabtree, six behind Moser, and Dave Felberg and Jay Redding rounding out the group. We're on 16, a par three, 301 feet. It's a pretty straight shot, except for you have that rock wall at the very end, and you want it to turn just a little left, so these right-handed guys are going to be throwing a little bit stable disc with some fade on them so that they turn in. And here's the turn, the nice fade. He plays that hill perfectly. And I think that fell pretty darn close. Here, that catch a little bit of tree on the way right there. Doesn't slow it down at all. What another great shot. Now you're seeing two pins there, but they're playing to that left-hand one. 
this is a fairly standard backhand shot for all these right-handed guys. Yeah, they got to play the natural s slope of the hill and just see how much distance they can get because I think they're all falling a little short. And I think you're right, they're all hitting a little early yeah, with the trees there and it's really taking a lot off their shot. Looks like he crossed the, uh, the rock wall there pretty easily. See how Kyle can do on his first throw. I think he got some branches oh, and you can no. see it roll down. He was hoping it was going to get through there, but kind of look, kind of, kind of reminds me of a plinko chip sometimes when I see those discs falling out of trees. Tough to ignore that basket right in front of him and go for the longer one. <laughs> what a shot! That th that would have got a quite a roar from the gallery if he would have made that. Feldberg from his knee. basket what a great run man that was some putt again Dave without the chains Moser made an exciting putt from the rocks from the same position last year this year not quite able to do it just lays it up well you know Avery has a pretty good shot on him he doesn't think he can make that putt so he's gonna lay it up there Avery's got to make this to go ahead Nope. Pushes it just past. Again, he wanted that one. That would have gave him some cushion. Oh, hits the basket short. That's the worst sound a disc golfer can hear. Yep. They, that's in their nightmares, they hear that sound. Here's Kyle with a pretty easy up. There goes Kyle Crabtree for par. Okay, Avery still holding on to that one-stroke lead on Mike Moser. Kyle Crabtree with a 